So basically, I thought I'd just start. So Everpedia is basically a online uh, wiki encyclopedia, meaning anyone can edit it. Uh, uh, we encourage anyone to make any page, even pages that aren't on Wikipedia. And the actual project was started in 2015. So it's actually quite big already. And um, we are actually one of the top 1,000 sites in the US already. And I've been in the blockchain field since like 2013, way before Ethereum. And I basically have designed a new way to actually get the structure decentralized. So I want to share that with you guys today. So we're actually pretty big right now. So the pre-ICO uh, pitch, we're ranked 932 uh, in the US. Uh, Everpedia has raised 670K in funding so far. And some of the other sites were bigger than uh, Crunchbase, Rico, <laughs> Infowars. And uh, so the problem we're trying to solve with Everpedia is that we basically want to be the encyclopedia of everything. We want people to make wiki encyclopedia articles about themselves, their businesses, their startups, everything all on one platform. Right now the problem is Wikipedia doesn't actually allow that, so a lot of niche, small encyclopedias like Crunchbase and all of these things have popped up. And this is actually one of the most uh, requested startups by Paul Graham uh, from YC, so that's actually a direct quote from him. So our solution is revamping the entire software and allowing a complete redesign and editing of anything on the platform. And so the entire vision and goal of the ecosystem is to decentralize the knowledge-based contents and economically align incentives of uh, edit validators and the long-term price of EPIQ, which is the currency of the platform. So how it actually works right now on the site, you can go on everpedia.org and check it out, uh, is that anyone that makes an edit actually can gets the edit approved or disapproved by the community, and once their edit's approved, they earn IQ. Uh, one of the things we're doing is actually decentralizing that process and having an ICO where people can actually buy IQ and earn a stake in the entire knowledge base. And people who have a stake in the entire knowledge base validate the edits that come in. And people earn IQ for the edits that they make. So right now on the site, we have top editors buy IQ. And right now, they're just kind of internet points, kind of like Reddit, kind of when you get upvotes, you get karma. But we're going to change that and actually make it a real ecosystem with real currency that has real value and have people that have a stake in the ecosystem actually verifying edits, making edits, and earning the currency. And for uh, more technical aspects of it, uh, the entire system will be a distributed proof of stake where block producers, who are the actual edit validators, will have a uh, will have actual validation for incoming edits. So what will happen is people who make edits on the site will have a Git protocol commit signed uh, with their private key, which actually references the article state. So the entire state of the entire encyclopedia will actually be stored as transactions in the blockchain, which is really cool because that also solves a lot of uh, censorship problems and anyone who actually runs a full node of the Everpedia blockchain will have the entire edit state of the encyclopedia on their local drive. And basically, uh, the Everpedia blockchain has standard uh, blockchain properties such as transactions, private keys, and a extra property where the edit field, the data field has all the info of the edited article. And uh, the actual IQ points can be exchanged for a lot of stuff immediately. So the site already has a lot of traffic. It's just not fully decentralized with uh, blockchain architecture. And so we actually sell uh, advertisement on all the things. So takeover ads and other types of advertisement. And so what we'll do when the entire structure is decentralized there will be self-serve ads that can actually be bought on the ecosystem using the actual currency, uh, EPIQ. And one of the cool things is actually we have all of the articles on Wikipedia already imported using our proprietary software 
on the Everpedia platform. So we actually already have uh, over five million articles and our community improves them, makes new ones on top of them. And uh, we basically have all of Wikipedia plus about one million unique articles that have been created since 2015. And our entire platform is Creative Commons, as is Wikipedia, so it's all free knowledge. Anyone can access it, and that's why it's uh, completely allowed to you know, use and reuse. And a lot of Wikipedia editors actually use the content on Everpedia. Huh. I guess that one doesn't work. There it is. But, uh, the market potential for ads on the platform is really, really huge, even compared to Wikipedia. Um, a lot of people uh, have done studies and say that Wikipedia's market cap for advertisement annually is over $2 billion, and a lot of those are old since 2013. So it's, uh, it's much bigger than that now. And if the graph would show, it would uh, show that. And these are a lot of, I guess, for some reason, the pictures didn't make it. But these are a lot of people sharing like organic articles on uh, Everpedia. We're actually frequently cited on a lot of news already. Maybe you've seen some of our articles, like that one is the New York Times uh, referencing an Everpedia article. Uh, more citations from other sites that use Everpedia articles. And other media press coverage. And this is the team. And so basically the mission is to have a completely decentralized encyclopedia where the people who validate edits and create edits are all economically aligned and pegged to the long-term uh, health of an entire encyclopedia and knowledge base. And basically, a lot of the times I, uh, I say, like, if you guys have heard of Steemit, uh, we're kind of like Wikipedia, uh, what Steemit is to Reddit. And uh, our ICO plans are, initially, we're going to uh, do an ERC-20 token, which represents EPIQ, um, and basically snapshot some of that, uh, the distribution, all of the distribution, once the actual uh, complete blockchain architecture has been developed. And you can check it out. Highly encourage anyone who is into it to go to everpedia.org slash register and sign up for an account. Right now it's still internet points. Um, it's like Reddit, but hopefully soon after uh, our ICO, it will be real EPIQ, which is monetary value. Thanks. We have a few minutes, actually. If anyone wants to ask any questions, yeah. then now would be the time. Um, well, right now we're actually talking to our like legal counsel, and uh, we're getting some of the other stuff settled out. But hopefully, hopefully soon. Hopefully, Q Q four two thousand seventeen. Yeah, exactly right. So the whole point is that the people who validate the edits uh, actually are the people who hold EPIQ. So they have an actual incentive in the currency that's pegged to this knowledge base. So it's not anyone who can just you know troll approve edits or something. So the whole point of the proof of stake system using Everpedia IQ is that the people who are approving it uh, have to make a decision whether they hold currency, and so they proportionally have validation powers that they think actually can add value to this knowledge base. Uh, there, there's a little bit of technical, uh, you know, know-how of how witnesses are actually like elected and who actually the witnesses are and the changing of witnesses. Witnesses are block producers who are elected to validate blocks. Uh, a lot of that, um, more technical stuff, we're actually releasing a white paper soon. But there's a little bit of difference. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 the witness selection algorithm is slightly different. 
Yeah, exactly. Any other questions? Can you repeat the question? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So exactly. So when you actually buy into it, you actually have the powers of being a validator, right? So the whole point is if the more you buy in, the more stake you have. And this stake is actually connected to the long-term actual viability of the actual knowledge base. So when you make decisions, the larger stake you have, you have to actually decide if I'm going to, you know, allow Coca-Cola to, you know, delete this part of the encyclopedia because they just had a scandal. Is my stake going to be worth less if it's clearly, you know, I'm going to vote against what I think is the long-term interest of the, uh, the actual knowledge base? It's basically taking the same proof of stake system and pegging an entire decentralized encyclopedia to it. It's uh, similar to normal proof of stake where you could, in theory, validate double spends, but you would actually destroy your entire stake. Yes. Yeah, actually, like that's a that's a very good uh, question because we actually have a lot of people, including high school uh, students and stuff, who really enjoy using Everpedia, even the structure itself, uh, right now, just because it's much easier to use. The UI is more graphic, and with actual cryptocurrency, people will be rewarded uh, proportionally uh, as uh, the market thinks their contributions were. Exactly, and exactly, yes. Yeah. So that's one of the things that we uh, were exploring is to actually have bounties on the site. Right right now it's not possible because it's just kind of internet points. But one of the things we're uh, looking for and looking forward to actually creating is a system where bounties can be put on information creation, information curation, almost like an entire marketplace of, of uh, basically research. Cool, thank you very much.